Hello everyone, welcome to today's schedule. In this video, I'll be talking about custom permissions and how you can use this feature to assign custom permission to your team members. To use this feature, you have to go to the users tab. I'm already in my users tab. Now I'll show you how you can create a new user and use the feature custom permissions. For that, you have to click on the add button here and provide the email address. I'll be using my own email address so that I can access the account and show you how the custom permission account look like. So I'll be providing my other email address here. Then you can see there are three types of role offered by day schedule. First is owner who have full access, admin who have similar access to owner except for the billing and user management. Third comes the custom permissions. Now in the next you can see there is a team access feature too. If you use this feature then the user will be ex will access all the team members resources, booking, contacts etc. Now comes the permissions table. You can use this permission table and specify which feature you want to access provide this user and which you don't want to. So for this user I want to provide resources to read, create, update and delete so the user can easily manage all the events and webinar here next comes the booking I want to just allow this user to read bookings and users and I don't want to give other permissions here so I'll be sending the invitation to the user so you can see the invitation has successfully sent and over here it's written to that invitation sent now I'll be going to my email account and will create a new user on behalf of this team member so click on the setup account provide the details here so let's give a name let's give other name here then the password and then the phone number I'm just giving the random numbers here. Now click on the join. So now let's set up the account. First you can set up the scheduling link. So let's try the availability of this link. So this link is available and I can do the setup afterwards. If you want to see how you can set the account for the day schedule, you can go to the other video which is about creating your account in day schedule now the account has been set up let's go to the booking page here as we already while creating this user we just give the read permission for this user so if the user tried to update this meeting then the user will be denied because we haven't given the permission here so let's try to cancel this meeting give a reason to cancel now click on the cancel this booking as you see the permission has been denied because we haven't given the permission to the user. So this is how you can use this feature and assign custom permission to all your team members. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about product features and upcoming updates. Thank you.